The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Before we broke, uh, the chamber was uh, already handed. Uh, had already handed la over the floor to the prosecutor. However, due to the technical Cependant, problem en de concerning the transcription section, lié à la transcription, we could not continue nous pas pu and nos we believe that uh, the transcription perhaps uh, has already been fixed. However, a great portion of the prosecutor's statement had not been registered, uh, so the procureur n'a pas pu être uh, transcrite, advice, ce qui uh, that, uh, fait que je vais donc uh, demander à présent repeat, uh, au procureur de bien vouloir previously. répéter ce qu'il nous a dit Mr. avant la pause. The chamber informed parties La concerning the issue parties relating to the footnotes of the closing order, the portion that relevant to de the de historical culture, background of the Democratic Republic démocratique du and parties are advised to et, pose their challenges or objections concerning the de leurs communication and administrative structure concernant les documents DK. portant sur la structure administrative et les communications euh, document dans, euh, which i refer to here is uh, the e 70 ici, the memorandum de, of the trial euh, chamber the trial chamber has indicated that the documents de la chambre indiquant que les documents shall not be considered at this moment are ne those de, that have already been requested to be placed dans la phase before sont the chamber. In particular, documents in Annex 1 through 5, co-prosecutor's document uh, proposed uh, for this first les segment of the trial. Uh, this document, document pour cette include uh, the statements of the accused person, des number two, the publications concerning the publications CPK, concerning CPK, and three, the minutes PCK, of the meetings lieu, of the CPK, des réunions four, du PCK, the communications of the CPK, and five, the media report and public PCK, statements by the CPK. Les rapports de presse et the euh, chamber du PCK, will not la consider the written statements which are uh, whose uh, decisions are pending. Uh, the uh, chamber will not consider the written statements which are pending at the trial chamber. On top of this memorandum, we have also received from the senior legal officer of the trial chamber on the 9 of February 2012 the two tables concerning the list of documents to be debated during this hearing. The first table contains documents prepared by the prosecution. Uh, there are 15 documents. And table number two prepared by trial chamber, which include 120 documents altogether, including the footnotes as referred to by uh, the memorandum. Among these documents, some documents are relevant to the historical context and uh, cited from the footnotes of the closing order. These documents are not subject to be debated in this uh, hearing. There are certain documents of this kind which have already been classified as the E3 documents. 
These sous documents document include uh, the written statements, les déclarations écrites, and according to the memorandum of the trial chamber, these documents are not subject for debate for this time being. There are about 20 documents Il in this category. Il y a à peu près 20 documents and qui figurent dans cette catégorie. There are documents uh, contained in annexes 1 through 5 annex 1 about 20 documents également des documents à peu près 20 so i and my colleague et mes collègues et moi-même not addressing the documents that are not subject for the Debate. However, I would like to begin with three reports. The analysis report. First report was done by Mr. Craig Atchison under the title dont le titre the perception concerning the CPK structure la structure document D du PCK c'est le document D2 dash 15 tiré 15 this document has been document placed in the case file as a evidence versé au dossier Mr. comme Craig élément de Edgerson preuve Mr. Craig Atchison already provided uh, testimonies uh, before the chamber in case file 001 dans he le procès 001 referred to this report along with other rapport, resources or sources uh, of information ainsi qu'à d'autres uh, sources d'information the president uh, counsel president. for Yang Sari, you may now Alors, proceed. Pour, uh, Sari, vous uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, good afternoon, uh, Your Honors, and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. Uh, your Honors, I specifically did not address that document because, as I understand, it's not part of the 95 documents. Car, uh, si now, compris, ne, il ne fait pas uh, des I don't documents. see why the prosecution Donc, is, is going into those documents which were uh, not on the list. Aborder ces documents qui ne figuraient pas dans la liste, peut-être parce que cela pourra But se I don't faire think it is ultérieurement, for this mais je ne pense pas que au cours de there cette audience particulière, alors qu'il ne nous reste uh, qu'à peu près une heure dix recess, uh, avant de we hear the next suspendre witnesses, la séance, I would avant de passer le témoignage des autres témoins, j'aimerais que la Cour enjoigne so uh, l'accusation d'aborder les 95 documents afin que nous puissions terminer aujourd'hui. Je vous remercie. Le président. The president. Uh, thank you, Counsel Canawas, for your objection. The objection is uh, plausible and that uh, co-prosecutor is now instructed uh, to par la chambre de focus only on the 95 documents at issue. The chamber has already indicated clearly before the floor was handed over to the prosecution and that uh, the prosecutor should uh, make the most of the time given and be confined to the topics uh, discussed au mieux le only. Temps qui lui était imparti et donc de Mr. Singh Bunkin, thank you, Mr. President. Je I would like uh, to le continue now. Uh, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je vais donc poursuivre. Uh, Your Honor, uh, um, May I ask um, for a few minutes uh, uh, for discussion with my colleague first? Vous demandez uh, quelques instants afin que je puisse avoir une discussion en aparté avec mes collègues. The President, uh, since um, time is limited, uh, and that uh, during the time when co-prosecutors are discussing among themselves, we want to ask whether the co-lawyers would like to 
ou euh, co-avocat uh, uh, des parties civiles s'ils désirent uh, intervenir en premier. Donc, l'accusation est maintenant prête. Je National vous la Mr. President, um, Monsieur le Président, dis-le. Like my... J'aimerais poursuivre mon intervention. The president, de présentation since, des documents. Le uh, président the mais comme is le, now ready au, au to proceed with uh, the floor given to him, uh, civil party lawyers may not uh, je vais respond au, at this time. Yet. De ne pas Mr. Saint uh, Thank pas you, Mr. President. Uh, we would like uh, to present Merci, président, nous the movies or, or the, the films to be put before this chamber, which includes uh, document D 299.199.199 to This video is entitled cette vidéo est intitulée Kampuchea Death and rebirth. DC Cam has uh, obtained uh, the video from Germany. Une vidéo Another video is D295 slash 2 slash 2.52R. This video is entitled video the Trip, the field trip of a Chinese delegation to Visite Malaysia. De la it Chinoise was produced uh, by the Democratic Kampuchea in 1976. En this video shows the Chinese delegation uh, trip that, uh, la uh, de la délégation in which Mr. Kilson Pond, Nguyen Chia, seen leading the delegation. Peuvent être vus, euh, the video itself euh, de, euh, also la délégation en outre. shows Malaysian delegation along with Kilson Pond Ying Thiri and Ying Thirut receiving them. Et Yen Tirit, qui les reçoit, we have qui les obtained this tôt. video from the Audiovisual uh, Center Bopana. Another video is D295 slash 2 slash 2.65 R. This video is entitled The Trip of uh, Laos. Laos of uh, du President visit to Soufano Cambodia, Mr. Panovo. This video is a documentary Cette film produced by the Democratic Kampuchea. Par le Kampuchea and it shows qui the trip of uh, Laos uh, President to, la Cambodia, uh, to the DK. And also Kampuchea it shows the People who received the visiting guests, including Kilson Pond, Ying Thiri, and Ying Tirut. This video has been obtained Cette from the Bopana Audiovisual Center. Du Centre Audiovisuel Bopana. These documents have been collected uh, through rogatory letter uh, uh, by sur base de commission rogatoire uh, office émise par uh, investigating judges le, uh, from the 7th to uh, the 15th of September 2009 Another document 2009 un autre document is D232 slash 110.1.1 R. It is about Pol Pot in Peking. This video shows Il the trip vidéo of uh, Pol Pot to China de Pol Pot en Chine. when he was there to 
pronounce the existence of the CPK. Pour, uh, this document was obtained through a rogatory letter of the OCP uh, and it is uh, retrieved uh, from Bopana Audiovisual Center. Du centre du Bopana. With regard to ce this qui concerne, uh, uh, delegation, the, the trips of uh, these Les people. De ces personnes. There are other documents, Il y a documents including the trip by Laos president to the DK government. His visit was captured in the world media uh, as également. well. Uh, par, uh, Although les, the uh, film was short, uh, but it tells us about who bref, received the visiting guests. Uh, this is the purpose of putting visite, the documents of these videos before the chamber. Sont, uh, à la chambre. Another video, the Une autre vidéo, as indicated, uh, 295-2-2.52R, uh, indicating how Mr. Kiosampang has uh, received visiting delegates. Les dignitaires, uh, and in another video, it shows that Yang Sari uh, did not uh, appear in Sari uh, the footage. Pas sur la pellicule. Chamber has already la indicated uh, clearly that any material, for example, the uh, report, journal, or documentary uh, films that have been retrieved from the media and that are relevant can be regarded as documents to be put before the chamber. The chamber will rule on the evidentiary value of such documents in the future. I have already concluded the documents I wish to put before the chamber. My colleague would like to continue. The President and International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Your Honours, the purpose of this document hearing is clear Monsieur le Président, and it is circumscribed. The purpose of this de ce hearing is clair, simply to address et, et documents that are cited in the footnotes of certain paragraphs in the closing order as it relates to communication and administrative structure. Those documents have already been accorded to the Chamber and have been accorded to the Chamber. To be relevant and reliable, uh, le statut de uh, document uh, pertinent et the fiable, et ce, uh, y compris au niveau de l'authenticité, uh, l'objet de ce document est de permettre au Conseil de montrer pourquoi uh, cette présomption ne the devrait pas être suivie. Les objections que vous avez entendues formuler aujourd'hui uh, peuvent être classées en deux catégories. La première catégorie vise à développer le champ d'application des objections qui avaient été envisagées, visant à obtenir des éléments supplémentaires, de faire comparaître les personnes qui avaient été interrogées ou qui procédaient à un entretien de vérifier si les documents présentés sont ce qu'ils sont ou semblent être. Rien de tout cela n'est soutenu par la jurisprudence ni non plus par la décision de cette chambre prise le 31 janvier qui stipule simplement examiner ces documents. Ces documents sont fiables, sont pertinents. Montrez-nous pourquoi ils ne le seraient pas. S'agit-il de faux ou de contrefaçon Est-ce qu'il y a quelque chose dans ces documents qui, de prime abord, montre qu'ils ne seraient pas authentiques. Deuxième catégorie d'objections formulées aujourd'hui ont porté sur le poids à accorder à ces documents. 
the test between admissibility et, and uh, the test weight de given to various pieces of evidence et ought à accorder, not to be conflated. Uh, à accorder aux documents, uh, the comments related to weight Les arguments Should développés en matière de poids accordé devraient effectivement être considérés à un moment euh, approprié, euh, mais ultérieurement. Tournons-nous maintenant vers euh, les commerciales. À peu près 38 des documents qui sont repris and on this euh, en liste list dans les notes en bas de page et dans cette liste euh, sont euh, des documents émanant du ministère du Commerce euh, du Cambodge démocratique qui sont utilisés pour soutenir en, en partie le paragraphe 11.44 de l'ordonnance de clôture qui déclare que Q. Sampang a reçu un grand nombre de télégrammes et de communications émanant du comité commercial et de la compagnie de commerce extérieur Fortra et à Phnom Penh, donnant des indications en matière d'exportation d'importation d'aliments, de relations avec les pays étrangers en matière commerciale, du fait que les membres du comité commercial se déplaçaient dans la campagne cambodgienne pour y obtenir des récoltes. Le CWV se déplaçait dans la campagne cambodgienne au nom de ce ministère, a identifié 14 documents du ministère du Commerce au cours des entretiens qui ont été He identified the handwriting and signature les, of Van Rith, juge who was the DK secretary of commerce. Le secrétaire, euh, this le signature appears du commerce, in many of the documents euh, du under the label DK après, dans commerce de, documents. Euh, Examples of such documents include euh, des affaires commerciales du Cambodia Democratic, y compris le document IS 21.145. This document bears Ce the document porte la signature de Van Frit, as identified by witness TCW583. The document also bears le document the notation, quote, already sent to Brother Hem, je cite, unquote, déjà Hem being the alias au, for Q Sampan. Camarade Hem, uh, Hem étant uh, l'alias de Another Q Sampan. subset of uh, these documents autre, from the DK Commerce Records documents, uh, contain ledger des entries regarding the Commerce, use of 140 million yuans credit. Credit. Sur euh, un crédit de 190 millions These de euros. Euh, Ces euh, écritures comptables They sont clairement identifiables comme telles et euh, produisent une écriture indiquant la valeur de biens échangés avec la Chine. produisent également des écritures portant sur le coût des marchandises payées par le gouvernement en utilisant cette ligne de crédit. Le document comporte la signature de Van Rit et une annotation uh, signalant déjà Horn. transmise aux camarades uh, Hem et Witness Horn. TCW 5H3 et also confirmed that China provided credit confirme également to the DK government a ouvert des lignes de crédit pour le gouvernement du Cambodge démocratique et pour financer sa banque de commerce extérieur en expliquant que cette banque avait l'obligation de préparer des rapports réguliers dressant l'inventaire des marchandises importées et exportées en utilisant cette ligne de crédit et c'est pourquoi ces écritures comptables sont présentées. Ces écritures comptables sont okay. également par le the président. President, National Council for Kyosan Pang, you may proceed. Council, Maître, Conseil de Kyosan Pang. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to Merci, object to what Comprocessure is now addressing concerning the substance of the documents. According to the instruction or advice by Judge Lavergne this morning, we are supposed to look at the documents whether they can be put 
au fin for de review. déterminer uh, s'il ne peut être versé. Il ne s'agit pas d'entrer dans la substance, However, la nature ou la teneur de chacun de ces documents. Cependant, je dois observer que Mme la procureure essaye de se concentrer sur le détail de la teneur de chacun de ces documents. Le président, Mme la coprocureure, voulez-vous répondre à ce qui vient d'être dit par le Conseil pour la défense de M. Kiosampang, si vous désirez le faire, vous avez la parole. Monsieur le Président, je reprends ces documents pour vous montrer pourquoi ils sont fiables. Et cela exige de moi, dans une certaine mesure, d'entrer dans la structure des documents, ce à quoi ils ressemblent, quel type d'informations ils contiennent, sans entrer dans l'information même. Si je ne peux pas entrer dans, à ce niveau de détail, je ne suis pas en mesure de vous montrer pleinement pourquoi ces documents seraient des documents fiables. Le président. L'objection formulée par le Conseil pour la défense de Kyo Sampang est rejetée. The international co-prosecutor may proceed. Le procureur peut poursuivre son exposé. The ledger entries are sometimes accompanied by detailed list of goods shipped and contracted for. Examples of such documents can be found at IS 21.114 and 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 IS 21.114 relate également les relations commerciales avec les pays tiers. Le document IS.2 is a report on a meeting with quote Korean comrades en fait, at the Ministry of Commerce. Relate les This échanges avec la Corée and du ministère du Commerce et ceci est également confirmé par document une IS annotation transmise camarade M. Le document shows the ledger entries related to the use of the 140 million yuan. sur l'utilisation de 140 millions de yuan avec un bilan commercial transactions with other countries besides China and Korea. It shows that certain amounts of rice was exported to Madagascar and that there were imports from Yugoslavia. Documents D161 slash 1.30 also relates to Yugoslavia. It concerns equipment offered for sale by Yugoslavia. This document contains annotations by Van Rith, stating one, already sent to Brother Bon and Hem, and two, Brother Hem advised that Brother Bon decided not to accept the offer. Please find a way to respond to Yugoslavs. Let me address the origin of these documents. Permettez-moi maintenant de vous parler de l'origine de ces documents. They were collected by DC Cam in many cases from the National Archives. Suite à des recherches dans les archives nationales, au nombre de ces documents, on a des codes de catalogue de ces archives et comme les originaux de ces documents peuvent ces documents peuvent être vus aux archives nationales. Let me turn to another category of documents. Let me turn to another category of documents. And these, I will call the French documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Office. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were provided by the French Foreign Ministry in response to a request for documents. These documents were
chamber visits to remind the uh, prosecutor to uh, uh, slow down for the record, particularly, uh, particularly when it comes to uh, the, uh, the number of the documents uh, or the EON number. Thank you. I will. Some of these documents contain reviews of significant events in Cambodia. The purpose why these documents were created can be found in an accompanying note in document D199-26-2. Point one zero five. The note states note that taking into consideration the absence of diplomatic relations between France and Democratic de Cambodia, as well as the absence of information on the subject of Democratic Cambodia, sur la question the Asia Oceania Division, la division of the Ministry of Asie Foreign Asie Affairs, des Affaires considers it useful to provide a review de uh, internal fournir and un external bilan des relations internes et externes Cambodia. du uh, nouveau Cambodge. These reports Ces rapports information contiennent des informations by sur des visites effectuées par des diplomates étrangers, diplomates, quels well dirigeants ont reçu ces diplomates et quelles ont été les manifestations uh, clés qui ont eu lieu sur le territoire du Cambodge démocratique. Bon nombre de ces événements font l'objet de corroborations par d'autres euh, rapports concernant ces visites et notamment euh, Phébis ou FBIS. These documents have the same format. Ces documents the top left-hand corner of the first page contains uh, a stamp of the ministry. À gauche de ces documents comporte le Underneath du that is the number of this particular review. Le numéro de, On the top uh, right-hand corner ce of the first page, en haut à droite de la one can page, find a stamp on voit of the Republic of le France cachet de la and République the date. Et la date. Another type of document also produced by the French government, produit par le gouvernement français, and also sent at the request of the OCIJ, consists of telegrams from the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The format of these telegrams is quite consistent. Foreign Affairs is usually typed on the top right-hand corner. The word déchiffrement is typed diagonally across the top right-hand corner. Uh, uh, An example can be found at document D199-26-2. Point two point two this is a telegram from Arnaud. The subject is visit to China by Prime Minister of Cambodia. Uh, it discusses Pol Pot's visit to China. Arnaud is the author Cambodge. of Arnaud many of these telegrams. De bon de ces telegrams. Indeed, he sends another telegram en fait, related to this very same visit. Sur cette même that telegram can be found at document D199-26.2.29. This visit by Pol Pot to China cette was also de Pol Pot reported en Chine elsewhere in the media, including in the New York Times. Dans les médias, et ce, y inclut dans le New York Times. <laughs> Let's turn to document IS 5.30. This is an S20. This is a S21 confession 
of de, Hunem, de, de aveux, the Minister of Propaganda. De Hunem, de la propaganda. The document Le is document contained in a footnote to the first line of paragraph 883 of the closing order. Line that line states, de quote, the first minister of information and propaganda in the, the CPK regime was Hunem, who was arrested Hunem. and sent to S21 in April 1977. In the trial chamber's ruling of January 31st, 2012, de, uh, at paragraph 9, the trial chamber reiterated that evidence obtained through torture has limited uses. The use to which this document is being put is consistent with that ruling. It simply confirms that Hunem was sent to S21 and the date and the, and the month of his arrest. The document contains annotations. Dutch Doik has confirmed that he annotated the letter which was written by Hunem that accompanies this confession. Uh, that letter is addressed to Pol Pot, Nguyen Chair, Yang Seri, Warren Bet, Son Sen, and Kyu Sampang. Council for Yang Seri has objected to a document called the last joint plan. This document is cited in footnote 3782 and 3783 of the closing order. The document number is D288 slash 6.5 the relevant portion of the closing order states, quote, in addition to the above, Nguyen Chair became de facto secretary of two zones after the arrest of their secretaries. It appears that following the arrest on 20 September 1976 of the Northeast Zone Secretary, Men San, alias Ya, this role was filled role by Omneng, alias Vai, alias, alias Ong, until mid-1978, and then by Nguyen Chia for a short period. This document is an analysis of confessions at S21. The analysis was conducted by Kwan, who was Deutsch's chief interrogator. This analysis weaves the various confessions into a massive interconnected plot. The document was discussed in the trial of case 001. During that trial, Doik confirmed that this document was produced at S21 and was authored by Pon. Let me now address some of the specific objections raised by Defense Counsel. Let's turn to document D-177-3.1. This document is called Timeline Chart Comparing Yang Seri's Foreign Travel During the Period of Democratic Camp Chair with S-21 records of arrest and execution of MFA staff. This document brings together into a different coherent form information that can all be found in numerous documents already on the case file. The way to challenge this document is to show why the timeline is incorrect. En contestant ce document, il that faudrait démontrer time, que la chronologie indeed, était erronée. Yang Seri was not there. Et qu'à cette époque-là, justement, that wasn't done. Yang Seri n'était pas là, et ce n'est pas ce qui a été fait.
An objection was also made to what was called Stephen Header material. La défense est aussi opposée au document qu'ils ont appelé la catégorie Steve Header. It was argued that Stephen Header had not only drafted the introductory submission, non seulement Steve Header he then proceeded to investigate it. De réquisitoire introductif, mais qu'aussi il avait participé Stephen à Header left Stephen Header OCP in December 2006. En décembre 2006. The introductory submission was written during the second quarter of 2007 and submitted in July 2007. Stephen Header did not write it. Stephen Header n'a pas rédigé le réquisitoire introductif. Two documents related to Stephen Header were cited. One was D29 slash I. Attachment 33 and D366 slash 7.1.562. These documents are part of Annex 1. And Annex 1 was argued in the first document hearing. There was an objection that witness interviews not conducted by OCIJ ought not to be admitted. On a aussi fait valoir que tout entretien qui n'avait pas été mené Again, par le bureau de police d'instruction devrait in être with document E170, rejeté toujours en accord avec le mémorandum E170. Excludes written witness statements. Sont exclus des débats les déclarations écrites. I note, however, that counsel for Nguyen Chair objected to witness statements from Ok Ban Chun, Sim Ka, Che Sim, and Heng Samrin. Witness statements Heng from these very same people were included autres, in their recent filing of January 31st, 2012, in which they sought to put witness statements of these very same people before the chamber. Other objections related to FIBIS reports, Ensuite, il y a to revolutionary flags, to standing committee minutes, FIBIS, all of those were covered under Annex 1 to 5 in the first document hearing. Audience sur les documents aux annexes A, 1 à 5. Where many documents from one source were corroborated with documents from various others, where their formats were discussed at some extent and detail. Certain documents étaient corroborés par d'autres sources et que le format et les différences de format, tout cela avait fait l'objet de débats déjà. There was an objection to document D56 dash DOC point one o three. This is an accused statement. Il s'agit d'une déclaration accusée. Counsel wanted Mr. Bernstein to come and provide testimony Les before this document could be admitted. Accused statements fall under Annex 1 and as such were discussed during the first document hearing. Des accusés accusés were discussed during the first document hearing. De discussion lors de la première audience sur but I also point out that when you have, when you suivante. read the accused statements, you will see that the accused say the same thing again and again. Their statements are always consistent. Ils sont conformes les uns avec les autres. Et que les accusés répètent la même chose encore et encore. There were objections to international media reports. Il y a aussi des objections sur des rapports dans la presse internationale. Objection was made to document D108 slash 43 slash 7. This is a FIBIS report. Il s'agit donc d'un rapport FIBIS. I discussed FIBIS reports during the last hearing. Another document objected to was D108. 
slash 43 slash 9. This document is a summary of world broadcasts created by the BBC, also discussed during the last document hearing. Objection was made. La défense s'est opposée. Objection was made to document D56 slash DOC.066. This is an international media report. It is called Ninth Anniversary of Founding of Revolutionary Army. This was from the Peking Review of 28 January 1977. This document is corroborated by two other documents. documents. The first one is document D313 slash 1.2.317. This document is a summary of world broadcasts. It reports on the celebration for this anniversary and that Nguyen Chea and Thieu Sampan attended. The document is further corroborated document by document D248 slash 6.1.14. This document is also a summary of world broadcasts, but this one contains a fairly extensive, ex extensive excerpt from the speech given by Nguyen Chea as acting Prime Minister. This document is dated January 20, 1977. Your Honor, those are my submissions. Je vous remercie, Madame, Monsieur les Juges. C'était là ma réponse. The President, thank you. Uh, Council for Nguyen Chia, you may now proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Could I have one minute to make a brief reply to the remarks of the co-prosecutor with respect to our documents, documents from the Nguyen Chia list? The President, uh, time allotted to counsel for Nguyen Chia has de de already Chia. been used. Déjà écoulé. It is now the opportunity for the prosecutors Le and the legal lawyers for the civil parties. Et aux convocas, uh, pour les parties civiles. I understand that, Your Honor, this was a Maître request Yannick. to make a reply. Il s'agit d'une demande de réplique, Monsieur le Président. The President. Le Président. Civil Party uh, lead call lawyers, you may now proceed. La parole est au convocat principaux pour les parties civiles. Oui, Monsieur le Président, Madame et Messieurs les Juges, Mr. President, mes confrères et Your Honours, tout le monde ici, quelques observations très rapides euh, à la suite des objections générales qui ont été faites aujourd'hui. Ma première observation euh, est la suivante et elle ne surprendra personne. Je crois que nous examinons aujourd'hui 95 documents qui sont des notes de bas de page de l'ordonnance de clôture des juges d'instruction. Et je dirais une fois de plus qu'il me semble que ces documents ont été examinés attentivement par des juges professionnels et que leur fiabilité, leur authenticité et leur pertinence ont été jugées suffisamment sérieuses pour que les juges d'instruction utilisent ces documents pour étayer leur ordonnance de clôture laquelle était susceptible de recours, il y en a eu un d'ailleurs, 
et laquelle a fait l'objet d'une décision ensuite de la Chambre préliminaire. Je crois que c'est avec cette vision générale, cet éclairage général qu'il faut examiner les objections. Ma seconde observation est la suivante. J'ai noté que les objections qui étaient faites aujourd'hui étaient pour une grande part des objections dont nous avons déjà discuté lors de la précédente audience sur les documents. Par exemple, l'objection sur le fait que l'on souhaite voir produits les originaux ou bien les objections sur le fait que les documents provenant de DCCAM ne seraient pas suffisamment fiables, ou bien l'objection qui consiste à dire qu'il faudrait entendre à tout prix l'auteur d'un document, et notamment d'un livre ou d'un interview ou d'un article de journal. Une objection que nous avons également entendue déjà dans la première discussion sur les documents est celle relative à la chaîne de conservation des documents émanant des archives nationales. Donc nous avons déjà discuté de tout cela et nos observations, bien sûr, sont les mêmes et nous invitons chacun à se reporter à ce que nous avons déjà dit sur le sujet. Ma troisième observation est la suivante. Je ne pense pas qu'il suffise de dire, par exemple, que des déclarations hors cadre judiciaire ne seraient pas fiables pour effectivement démontrer qu'elles ne sont pas fiables. Je crois que si on veut discuter des déclarations hors cadre judiciaire, par exemple, il faut, il faut au moins démontrer en quoi cette fiabilité ou cette présomption de fiabilité qui a été retenu par les juges d'instruction, pourrait aujourd'hui être mise en cause. Et je constate que la défense ne fait pas, une fois de plus, cette démonstration. J'avais une autre observation qui tient, mais euh, qui est un peu, non pas une réponse aux objections, mais qui est une observation plus particulière à un groupe de documents. Il y a dans les 95 documents qui nous ont été soumis, 37 documents qui relèvent de l'annexe 7 de, des coprocureurs qui a trait aux documents émanant du ministère du Commerce. Il nous semblait, pour notre part, que pour une bonne administration de la justice, il aurait peut-être été intéressant de discuter de ces 37 documents dans le cadre de l'annexe 7, puisque, si j'ai bien compris, cette annexe sera discutée un jour. Je ferme cette parenthèse. Et je voudrais enfin faire une dernière observation sur les confessions, puisque une confession est produite au débat, mais je crois que nous sommes tous d'accord sur la position à tenir, y compris la Chambre, me semble-t-il. Je crois que nous sommes des avocats de partie civile, nous sommes avant tout des avocats, et nous souhaitons, en ce qui nous concerne, une application stricte de l'article 15 de la Convention sur la torture. Nous avons noté que la Chambre a rappelé sa position dans le document, du 30, dans le mémorandum du 31 janvier, qui était sa position en mai 2009, laquelle consiste à dire que l'on peut utiliser ces documents pour démontrer qu'il y a eu la torture, mais non pas pour leur contenu. Et nous, bien sûr, nous soutenons cette position et nous avons entendu qu'il en était de même pour les procureurs à l'instant. Voilà les quelques observations que je souhaitais faire en ce qui me concerne. Je ne sais pas si mon confrère souhaite intervenir en suite. Merci. Je crois qu'il n'y aura pas d'autres interventions de la partie civile sur les documents. Merci. Le président, je vous remercie.
The president, uh, since uh, we still have some time left, and we noted that counsel for Nguyen Chia was uh, willing to reply to the statements made uh, by the co-prosecutor, the chamber is considering giving the floor to the counsel, chambre, but please advise us how much time would you need uh, before we can decide uh, whether we should give time to you or not. Thank you, Your Honor. Truly, one minute would be fine. One minute suffira. The President, indeed, you are allowed to do so in one minute. However, please be reminded that parties who wish to speak about any potential witnesses or witnesses in the case file, they are advised to refrain from revealing the full names of the relevant uh, witnesses because it's also um, to respect uh, their rights. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to clarify, and perhaps I didn't make this point clear enough this morning. Our objection, first of all, indeed, those three documents that the co-prosecutor referred to, the statement of Wunxian, CPP senator, the statement of Chia Sim, the president of the Senate, and the statement of Hang Sam Rin, president of the National Assembly, those are indeed on our witness list. The objection today was to their use to prove the acts and conduct of the accused or pivotal issues in the case without them appearing for cross-examination. So I just want to make that very clear. That those documents are indeed on our list. We've called for these witnesses to come and testify. We submitted the documents for different reasons, and we've provided those reasons in our cover submission. But the objection this morning is to their use to prove the acts and conduct of the accused or pivotal issues in the case without their examination in court. So I hope that's clear. Thank you. The President, thank you very much. It is now an appropriate time for today's adjournment. The Chamber therefore decides to adjourn today's session by now. The next Donc, session will be on the 12th of March, les le 12 mars 2012, 2012, at 9 a.m. Indeed, uh, security personnel are now instructed uh, to bring all the accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom by the 12th of March uh, before 9 a.m. The court is adjourned.